Three enthusiastic bird watchers from North Wales have turned their hobby into a new board game, which has won the approval of that famous amateur ornithologist Bill Oddy. The former goody has played a prototype of the game and has lent his name to the product, due to get its wings next week, you might say. Alan Davis, Robert Smith and Nigel Platt have spent four years developing their outdoor bird watching interest into an indoor board game. It's estimated that more than a million people in Britain reach for their binoculars and telescopes to pursue this hobby. So they believe there's a ready market for the great bird race game. Bill Oddie's participation has proved invaluable. Well, in the early days, um, as, as you say, it was four years ago, after about a year, or perhaps a bit longer, when we'd uh, developed the game, we thought that uh, it would be a good idea if Bill Oddy, um, being a well-known personality and very well respected in birdwatching circles, um, could get his name on the game and be involved in the game. So we contacted him, approached him, showed him the game, and he was very enthusiastic right from the very start. The game is launched through mail order next week, containing more than 500 bird cards illustrated by local artist Philip Snow. And the beauty of this race, they maintain, is that unlike other board games, nobody knows who the winner is until the game is over. The basis of the game, it sort of represents uh, a bird race, and what that means is that you have teams of people who get into different cars, and we've used a sports car and a Land Rover, and they tour around the countryside going to various bird watching habitats. Um, and when you get to the habitat, you will see the birds that uh, you would actually find at that habitat. So um, it's based, as I say, on a, on a bird race. We've managed to produce the game exactly as we wanted to, as bird watchers wanted to. And what we also wanted to do was to make it have as wide an appeal as possible to not only serious bird watchers, but also uh, youngsters, old age people, um, anybody, people who know nothing about birds. Uh, if you know nothing about birds, you can learn an awful lot from the game. Over here we've got Bill Oddie, hello Bill, and we've got the gang, oh, I even shook his hand. And he's going to be showing us the great bird race game that has got absolutely nothing to do with pigeons flying between Peking and here. But first, we have a clip from the Funky Worm, then you video the spell. Now, before I mention the great bird race, now, Bill, mm -hmm. what is a bird race? It's absolutely nothing to do with pigeons, is it? No, silly boy, nothing silly at all. Silly me. Um, it's basically to do with bird watchers going out to see how many different species of bird they can see in a given time. We usually set ourselves 24 hours, and you can compete against one another, either as individuals or as teams. So it means tuzzing around in fast cars or whatever, going to all sorts of different habitats to see as many different kinds of birds as you possibly can. Very, very exciting thing to do, very tiring, can be a little bit dangerous. It can be dangerous at the same Indeed time. Indeed it can. Bob, you designed the game. Now, it looks to me like you brought the bird rays onto our living room. That's Is that right. true? Yes. Well, we've condensed, if you like, Britain uh, onto the board. I like the, the word board. condensed. Indeed. And <laughs> we've got um, 17 different bird watching habitats. We've got mountains, estuary. We've even got a sewage works. Mm -hmm. And they're connected by a series of uh, roads and tracks. And you race around in Bill's a sports busy car. busily pointing them out. And a Land Rover. And you race around in them, and there's no dice. No dice. It no makes dice. a change for a game not to have a dice. Alan, how do you win the game? You win by seeing the most species of birds. Now, I know I'm not allowed to say you spot birds. Definitely not. not. Definitely how do not. you see birds? You see birds by visiting the various habitats, select the appropriate pack of cards, turn over the top three cards, and tick the birds off you see on your checklist, which is here. And the most birds is the winner. Is the winner, correct. Yeah, right. Sounds great. Now, I'm looking back at the game. It's a very exciting game. Bob, Bill mentioned it could be dangerous at times. Why can it be dangerous? Well, there's loads of hazards. I mean, you've got various sort of bad weather conditions that can happen. But perhaps I think the worst thing that could happen to you is a pheasant crosses the road, you swerve to avoid it, smash into a tree and write your car off. Or alternatively, you can dangerous. just knock the pheasant over? Yes, but dead birds don't count. So, <laughs> dead birds don't count, so don't <laughs> knock the pheasant over. Right, well, I know this game isn't available in the shops at the moment. However, if you write to me, I can send you one of these sheets, and that tells you how you can get the game. We've kept three behind for Christmas presents, and these are competition presents. So, Nigel, a question. Yes, quite simply, the question is, what is the technical term for the study of birds? I know that. Very easy. Oh, I know oh, that. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you the answer, but um, I unfortunately don't know that. If you know what the technical term for the study of birds is, write to me here at Motormouth, PO Box 1, Maidstone, Kent, ME14, 5LL, and you could have three of these games. Now, you were saying before about the dangers. Have you ever had those dangers when you were playing the bird? Very race? nearly, especially with Alan driving. <laughs> especially with Alan driving. Well, that wasn't very fair. Lads, thanks for coming along. Bill, thank you. It's a great pleasure.